parents' night. The one night of the year when all parents, be they mothers, be they fathers, be they whatever, come together and share in our positive learning environment. So make sure you give your parental figures these recyclable handouts, or they might miss our classroom festivities, and we wouldn't want that to happen now, would we? Yeah, that'd be a real tragedy. Oh boy, parents' night! I can't wait to show my dad how I organize my desk. All the pencils on one side, and all the papers on the other. He'll be so proud. I'm gonna show my parents the class telescope and the celestial object I discovered a name for them, called it Doris Phil. I'm gonna show my folks the dead pig in Mr. Jermaine's science lab. Man, that thing can really float. What are you gonna show your mom and dad, Spinelli? Me? Oh, my folks aren't coming. <gasps> but Spinelli, it's parents' night. They've gotta come. Well, they can't, okay? They're busy Thursday night. Busy? On parents' night? Yeah, they're, uh, uh, having dinner at the White House. The White House? You mean where the president lives? That's the one. But isn't the president of the Middle East this week? Uh, yeah, that's right. And that's why they're going. To keep an eye on things. You know, hold down the fort. But what about the Secret Service? The Secret Service? They're, uh, uh, they're bowling. It's their bowling night. Oops, there's a bell. Gotta go. Wow, Spinelli's parents at the White House? That's amazing. A little more amazing than last year when they went head hunting in the Amazon. Or the year before that when they went hang gliding off Mount Everest. You know, it's kind of strange how Spinelli's parents are always busy on parents' night. That's because she's making the whole thing up. What? Well, think about it. Every year since kindergarten, Spinelli's come up with weirder and weirder excuses. And sometimes she can't even keep her story straight. Oh, that's ridiculous. Hey, do you guys hear? Spinelli's mom and dad are going to be the first parents on the space shuttle. See what I mean? But it doesn't make any sense. I mean, why would Spinelli lie about her parents? Don't ask me. I never met them. Neither have I. Me neither. But TJ, you live right down the street from Spinelli. How come you've never met her parents? I don't know. Her dad's car is gone every morning before we go to school, and she never even talks about her mom. There's something weird going on here, you guys. Yeah, and we gotta get to the bottom of it. But how, TJ? The best way is the sneaky way. A stakeout. Hey, Teej, you see anything yet? Negatory, Vince. How about you, Gretchen? Nothing back here, Teej. Wait a minute. I think I see something. The person. Who is it, Gretchen? I can't tell from here. How about you, Gus? It's too dark, but whoever it is, they're heading for the garage. Heads up, Mikey. He's coming your way. Ah! Hi, Spinelli. What are you doing in there? Uh, sitting? Well, get out of there! And you, Gus, get out of that tree! And Gretchen, get out of that bush! And all of you guys, just leave me alone, okay? Leave me alone! Well, so much for the sneaky approach. From now on, we gotta be direct. Tomorrow after school, we're going in. Somehow, some way, we're going in. You think this is gonna work? Absolutely, it's foolproof. Drink it down, big guy, drink it down. Please, no more, I'll burst. Sounds about right. Okay, you know what you're gonna say? I gotta go to the bathroom. Perfect. What are you guys doing here? Tell her, Mikey. I gotta go to the bathroom. He's gotta go to the bathroom. Yeah, so? Well, you gotta let him in. He's ready to burst. Sorry, can't help ya. Come on, Spinelli, open up. What? Mikey's gotta go. What are you guys really doing here? We want some answers, Spinelli. What are the questions? Can I go to the bathroom? What else? Number one, what's the deal with your folks? Could you please not say number one? Number two, why don't they ever come to parents night? None of your business. Come on, Spinelli, we're your friends. Okay, I'll tell you, but you gotta promise not to tell anyone. My old man is a secret agent. The old lady, too. That's it. We're going in. Wait, wait! <sighs> all right, all right, I give. I'll let you meet my parents. But not now! When? I'll bring them to parents' night. No deal! Hold on, Mikey. That seems fair. I can't hold on. That's the problem. Okay, Spinelli. See you on parents' night. Come on, Mikey. There's a gas station about five blocks from here. Five blocks?! Okay, see you guys later! Me and my big mouth. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is the deal of a lifetime. This thing's got a genuine Swiss movement. <laughs> Scandalous! <laughs> Scandalous! Hi there, glad you could make it. Your son and or daughter is a great asset to our school. Hi there, glad you could make it. Your son and or daughter is a great asset to our school. Mom, Dad, this is Miss Grokey. Wheatgrass juice, carob cookies, they're homemade. Wheatgrass, carob? A gripper on Smithy and Serotonia Siliqua processed into a snack food. Ah. You made this a whoopee cushion? It was my science project. That's my boy. <laughs> <laughs> Not a speck of dust. Nice job, soldier. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. It's so beautiful. <laughs> oh, there, there, little fella. Anybody seen Spinelli? No sign of her yet. She chickened out. I was afraid this might happen. Guys, look! <laughs> Hello, you must be the Spinellis. That's right, sugar. <laughs> I'm your daughter's teacher, Miss Grokey. Care for a cookie? <laughs> 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 
That's disgusting. Here, here, give me something to kill the taste. Anybody got a brew? Well, no, but I'll see what I can do. Spinelli! Mom, Dad, I'd like you to meet my friends. Yo! Hey, Dad, show my pals that thing you do. Oh, yeah, sure. Hey, check it out, dudes. Wow. Yeah, and he can pop a wheelie on his chopper, too. Mr. and Mrs. Spinelli, I wasn't able to find any brews, but I did track down some root beer. Well, it's better than nothing. Wow, Spinelli, your mom and dad are great. Yeah, why were you hiding them? I don't know. I guess I wasn't sure what you guys would think. Are you kidding? They're the coolest parents here. I'm glad you brought them, Spinelli. Gee, thanks, guys. Hey, kid, can we talk to you a minute? Well, little sister, it's been real, but we gotta blow. What? But the party just started. We had a deal. Sorry, Squirt. Time's up. So if you don't mind, we'll take our payment and split. Hey, keep it down, will ya? No offense, Vanilli, but I've changed my mind about you having cool parents. Yeah, now we know why you didn't want to bring them. They're real jerks. You guys don't understand. Those weren't my parents. What? I met him in the parking lot at the Speedy Mart and paid him to say they were. But what, Spinelli? Because my real parents, they, they embarrassed me, okay? So? So? What do you mean, so? Well, everyone's parents embarrass them. Yeah, it's a scientific fact. Parents have a unique ability to be a never-ending source of humiliation for their offspring. You guys don't understand. My parents aren't like yours. They're worse. Oh, come on. How bad can they be? Sweetheart, there you are. Oh, no. Oh, Pookie. We were worried about you. Oops, I got lipstick all over your face. Here, let me clean that off. No, Mom, please! You know, Princess, there must have been some sort of mistake. I mean, we wouldn't even have known about parents' night if your mom hadn't found this note in your jeans pocket. This can't be happening. Oh, and these must be your little friends. Let's see, you must be Mickey and Vance and Gretel and Russ, and you must be BJ. He's the one our little honey bunny has the crush on. Mom! Say, would you kids like to see some pictures of my little princess when she was just a baby? Dad! Just look at her on that rug. Why me? Why me? Hello, may I help you? Why, you must be Miss Grabke. We're the Spinellis. Bob, Bob and Flo. Flo. You're Mr. and Mrs. Spinelli? But I thought... Oh, I know. You thought we'd be better looking. <laughs> what with our little beauty queen here? We're so proud. You know, she just stopped wetting the bed this year. Ah! Oh, honey bunch! Princess, come back! Well, I guess we finally know why she was embarrassed. <laughs> Mind if we join you? Sure, pull up a roof. We talked to your friends. They explained to us why you didn't tell us about parents' night. Yeah, well... Look, honey, we know we embarrass you, but there's something very important we want to say. What's that? We forgive you. You forgive me? That's right, Princess. You see, someday you're going to feel bad about being so embarrassed by us, and, well, we just want you to know that we understand how you feel. How could you possibly understand how I feel? Hey, we were kids once ourselves, you know. Why, when I was your age, my dad used to embarrass me so much, I'd lie about him all the time. Really? But Grandpa Dave was a Navy SEAL. <laughs> Don't remind me. The thing is, honey, no matter how much we embarrass you, no matter how uncool you think we are, we're always going to love you because you're our daughter and we're your parents. Well, see you back at home, sweetie. Wait! There's still a half hour left of parents' night. Well, come on, then! Want to hear something funny? What's that, sweetheart? A couple of days ago, I was so embarrassed of you guys, I told my friends you were secret agents. <laughs> <laughs> oh, secret agents! Oh, you kid! Go on down, you two. I'll catch you up. <laughs> 003, this is Agent 006. Received your signal. Over. Roger, 006. We have an international emergency. HQ wants you and 005 back here immediately. The fate of the world is on your shoulders. Sorry, 003, but the fate of the world will have to wait. It's parents' night. What? 